Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to play a little bit with the RFID copy machine. This is the 10 in one. So it can then do 10 different frequencies. And I'm just, I'm just gonna play a bit with it and show you how to copy, how to connect it to the computer and how you can also use the software that is inside the machine. It's kind of a USB stick. And I got questions about this uh, on my channel. So that's why I decided to make a separate video for it uh, also. So it's this machine. Well, here it goes. Okay, here is the RFID copier. Uh, it can do 10 frequencies and it comes with uh, one pack of cards for uh, 125 kilohertz. And it comes with uh, a type A and also 125 kilohertz batches and a USB cable. You need to put little batteries. I put some cheap ones in. And how does it work? Well, it actually works very simple. You switch it on. You can see the version number, 300. You get the disclaimer. Be careful what you copy. Okay. And you have here the little back button that goes to the menu. Here you can select the language, well, English or Chinese. That's good. You have some system information, which is the serial number and the version number. And well, here in the back, you put the card. So if you have a badge, you just put the badge somewhere in the middle. Yeah, and if you have a card, I have a card here, you just put it like this. So, how does it work? Well, if this is an actual card, so I will just hide a little bit the number. Um, here you have the types of patches you can do, so you can switch it over. If you are not sure, you just push the scan button instead of the read button. So I don't know. I just put my card in the back. I will do scan and it will automatically detect. Well, it says it's a type A and it already found the number. Um, then you need to know this is the type A and this is the 125 hertz. Yeah. So I just get one of these because this is also type A. Or if you're not sure which one you need, you just put it in the bottom and you type a scan and you see it says type A. This one I put in the bottom and scan and it says it's a 125. Uh, the cards that came with it are 125, only they are empty. So it doesn't, it, it doesn't seem they work. So what I do, I hold it a little bit in the light. I can see the chip is here. So with the top, so probably if I read or scan, it will do a failure because yeah, it fails. So it's, it looks like the card is not good, but it is working. They're just empty. So this one is also 125. So what I do is hold it in the bottom. I type scan, it has a code. When I put it now in the back and I put right, it says successfully. So if I now put it back and I do a scan, it detects. So they do work, but they are empty. So it seems you, you would maybe expect that it would output a lot of zeros and say what kind of card it is, but it doesn't. So these are 125s and they do work. Um, here I bought another type A and another 25. These were already uh, programmed, but you can just override them. So don't think your cards are broken because they're probably not. So now I'm going to copy my uh, card. So. Disclaimer, yes. I do scan. Here it is. Put one of my badges. Put the right button. Done. And 
if I read I do it again. It did take oh it fails now. What is it? There it is. So now these are the same. That's how it works. How you connect to the computer. So the software is actually in this machine, but it is a bit tricky how to find it and it took me some time before I found out. So what you do, you just plug this in the USB. You put that in the computer. So I will do that. And then you switch it on. You wait. Now you see this message and you don't push OK. You need to wait. And as you can see, my computer already detected before the, the software. And now you see it opened a, a memory stick. So now it is open. And uh, now you can just copy it to your desktop. And uh, if you now push OK, it will close automatically the USB drive. Then uh, sometimes it says it's not connected. And what I do then is just, I switch it off. I switch this one off. Then I switch it back on again. Push OK. And then you wait. And if you then start the software, it works. But you only need to the, to use the computer with the software if your card is encoded. But then you probably also need to think, do I really want to copy this card? Because there is probably a reason that it is uh, coded. But uh, let's say you still decide that you want to do that. Then you can use the software and I will start it. So first thing you do, switch it on. Wait for the message. Click OK. And what, now you wait like 10 seconds and you start the software. And then here in the bottom, you can see it's connected. Here in the bottom, you can see it's connected. And I think what you need to do is first put the card in the bottom and then you click the start button and then you see it is trying to decode it well this one was not coded and now it says in the display decoding successful right to the card so now I get my card or my key put it on the bottom and I do the right button card purchase please call now, it says your UID write failed, but the data write was successful. Well, that makes sense because it was not coded. But uh, this is how that uh, works. So like a lot of things, when you know how to do it, it's not that complicated. And it's actually quite straightforward. Uh, now I know how I was able to copy one of my cards. And it was actually functional. I tried it already. So uh, I like it pretty nice especially with the provided cards that was also a tricky because they seem broken but they are in the end they are not so uh, i hope that helps thank you for watching and uh, i hope to see you next time